Hello everyone, uh, Dr. Bina here. Uh, we are revising the salvage pathway of purine nucleotide synthesis. So it is, uh, uh, once it is asked in Kuha's exam, what is the, what is uh, salvage pathway and its uh, significance. So you can see what is the salvage pathway, you know, what is salvage pathway provides purine nucleotides for the tissues which are incapable of synthesizing purine nucleotides by de novo synthesis pathway. So that is usually seen in human uh, RBCs, brain, etc. and to some extent polymorpho nuclear uh, leukocytes also, mainly in the RBCs and brain. So this pathway is of importance mainly in the RBCs and brain where de novo synthesis of purine does not occur. And also this pathway economize the intracellular energy expenditure. What do you mean by that? De novo synthesis needs uh, energy. Intracellular energy is required, that is ATP is required. But here, uh, because we are recycling the nucleotides uh, which is degraded and the purine is obtained from that, it is uh, less economically, it is very cheap and there is no requirement of ATP. So that is why it is called the pathway economize the intracellular energy expenditure. Then it recycles the purine formed from the degradation of the nucleotides. There is no extra uh, substrates are required, only the degradation products of the nucleotides are reused. And nucleosides and deoxynucleosides are also re uh, recycled. So you know what is a base, what is a nucleoside and what is a nucleotide. There is no need to explain all that. So nucleosides and deoxynucleosides are, can also be recycled by this salvage pathway. Now this pathway ensures the recycling of purine formed from the degradation and uh, main substrate is here PRPP, you know, PRPP contains ribose phosphate plus uh, ribose and uh, phosphates. So PRPP is the starting material in this pathway. It is also a substrate for the de novo synthesis. You know that it is also a substrate for the de novo synthesis. Hence these two pathways are always interrelated. So the salvage pathway of purine nucleotide and the de novo synthesis of purine nucleotides are all interrelated. This pathway is of special importance in the tissues like brain where de novo synthesis is not operating. There are two types of uh, um, uh, salvage uh, pathway operation that is one is phosphoribosylation of purine bases by PRPP. The second one is direct phosphorylation of the purine nucleoside. You know the difference between the base and the nucleosides, isn't it? Bases, purine bases are adenine and guanine and their nucleosides are adenosine and guanosine. So uh, in the first case, phosphoribosylation of adenine or guanine is occurring and the second phosphorylation of that is uh, only the phosphate group is need to add it to the nucleosides. So there are two methods by which purine salvage occurs. Purine salvage pathway by phosphoribosylation of purine bases by the PRPP. So here PRP, from the PRPP ribose phosphate is transferred to the uh, base adenine and guanine to form the nucleotides. Hyposanthine guanine phosphoribosyl transferase is the enzyme which catalyzes the transfer of uh, ribose phosphate hyposanthine to form the inosine IMP or uh, guanosine to form the GMP. So the enzyme is hyposanthine guanine phosphoribosyl transferase or HGPRTS. So here you can see the reaction hyposanthine plus PRPP with the help of this enzyme forms IMP, inosine monophosphate and pyrophosphate. And again guanine plus PRPP forms the GMP and PPI. Another one enzyme is the adenosine phosphoribosyl transferase which catalyzes the formation of uh, AMP from adenosine. That is uh, when there is uh, AMP plus PRPP forms the uh, adenosine plus PRPP forms the AMP plus PPA. So that is the another reaction. So these two enzymes are of importance in the salvage pathway. 
First is cyprosanthin guanine phosphoribosyl transferase, which transfers ribose phosphate from PRPP to the adin uh, hyposanthin or guanine to form the IMP or GMP. Then the adenosine phosphoribosyl transferase, which catalyzes the uh, transfer of ribose phosphate from the PRPP to the adenine to form the adenosine monophosphate. Uh, then the second method is by direct phosphorylation of the purine nucleosides. So here you can see what is happening. You know phosphorylation is catalyzed by the enzyme kinases. We have studied so many kinases in various metabolism. So here adenosine kinase is utilized for the uh, transfer of adenos, uh, phosphate group to the adenosine that is a nucleoside. So one uh, phosphate is needed that is obtained from ATP to form the AMP and ADP. Then another reaction is deoxyadenosine again can be converted to DAMP or uh, by the uh, action of uh, adenosine kinase plus ATP. ATP is the phosphate donor here. These uh, salvage pathways are regulated by IMP, GMP or AMP. No, so in the reaction here also you can see what is the uh, which is the reaction where the adenine is converted to AMP that is adenosine phosphoribosyl transferase, hyposanthin guanine phosphoribosyl transferase guanine to VGMP or PRPP. PRPP is the donor of ribose phosphate. Then uh, again the nucleoside di and triphosphate can be synthesized from the GMP uh, that is when the GMP combines with the ATP in presence of monophosphate kinase to form the GDP and ADP and GDP again combines with the ATP in presence of the enzyme diphosphate kinase to form the GTP and ADP. So you can get the uh, di or triphosphate also in this salvage pathway. So another importance is there is an inborn error in the metabolism where the salvage pathway enzymes are deficient. Complete absence of a GPRTAs will lead to a condition known as Lesch-Nihan syndrome. It is an X-linked inherited disorder of purine metabolism. Incidence is 1 is to 10,000 in males and there are there is deficiency of HGPRTAs. That is all not the deficiency, it is completely absent. So the symptoms are self-mutilation, mental retardation, and then the excessive uric acid and the nephrolithiasis. These are the important because uh, brain is exclusively uh, dependent on the uh, salvage pathway for the synthesis of purine nucleotides. So whenever there is deficiency or absence of these enzymes, the brain will be lacking these nucleotides. That's why there will be mental retardation in this uh, patients and also there is self-mutilation. Then uh, hyperuricemia may be there because the PRPP is uh, here used and then there will be uh, excess formation of uh, urinucleotide and then there will be more excretion of uric acid is hyperuricemia is formed and that is again producing nephrolithiasis that is uh, renal stones and later on sometimes kidney failure also. So in this case, due to hyperuricemia, gout also may develop. So the neurological manifestation suggests that brain is dependent on the salvage pathway for its requirement of IMP and GMP. So that is the reason why mental retardation occurs in the Lesch-Nihan syndrome because uh, brain depends on this pathway only for the uh, uh, requirement for the uh, IMP and GMP. So that much regarding the salvage pathway and its uh, uh, importance, clinical significance. That is the, in the clinical importance is the disorder, uh, Lesch-Nihan syndrome. And where the importance are because it is operating in the place where the de novo synthesis is lacking. That is mainly RBCs, brain and auto, also to some extent polymorphonuclear leukocytes where the Dino synthesis is not present. So that much regarding the salvage pathway and its significance, it came once for the exam and there is importance for the salvage pathway. So 
Uh, you have to remember the two enzymes, HGPRTAs and APRTAs, and also kinases, which may convert the uh, IMP and GMP or AMP to the corresponding di or tri nucleotides. Thank you.